Ferrari. She does look progressive. This is raising the bar, as Kieran said, acid test. Uh, but we're about to find out. Fleetwood oh, watch just this goes face. in oh, right God. To I can't do Ferrari. it to myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's an interesting move, though. So different jock. We've got Luke Nolan on board today and reading during the week. He, he didn't want to look at replays of what happened in the gates last start. He just wants to ride his own race and you know, ride what he's presented with. And that's a, a gelding by encryption who before last weekend was looking to have an unblemished preparation. Well, he beat the Black Cloud, which is has beaten the majority of this field. field. Yeah. So if he is in his best behaved fashion and in top order, then he's got to be right in the finish in this race. Um, and that's probably why I would suggest that it, I thought it was a, a sort of between Ferrari, Fleetwood, uh, Bossy Nicks in terrific order, a mare in good style, and also right to party, I thought looked fantastic. So the market has got it in that order, and we might see an exciting horse, as we s highlighted before. We saw some great winners of this race go on and do some very special things. Absolutely. This can be a platform, a little springboard, if you will, into some nice sprint events uh, for the upcoming spring carnivals, uh, whether they be in Sydney or Melbourne. So Ferrari is loaded. Willenda will be after that. Let's head to the call with Matt Hill, race nine at Flemington. And Walenda, who's been supported at longer rods with Blake Shin, goes in and completes. It's set for the Krizik. Ready to dash 1200s. Set now, and they're racing. Prince Zero from barrier number one jumped away pretty well. Bossy Nick out cleanly. Fleetwood out a lot better today and lands in front with Paradise City and Bossy Nick behind those horses. Ferrari is on their heels too, followed by British Angel, and they were followed by Prince Zero. Links right to party. Well back, Walenda, and also Apparatus. So they head down the straight towards the 900 metres where the leader is Paradise City, just in front of British Angel. A length and a half Ferrari and then Prince Zero, Bossy Nick Wider coiled up his links and then came in the field right to party Fleetwood's got the tag on the back of bossy Nick from apparatus and Walenda is last onto the course proper 500 meters to go it's Paradise City shading British Angel they were followed by Ferrari two lengths away Brown hasn't pulled the trigger yet apparatus runs on Prince Zero and Fleetwood now about to unleash down the outside a few chances at the 250 British Angel joined by apparatus Prince Zero and Fleetwood on the outside and Ferrari hasn't kicked into gear either. It's Prince Zero in front. Right to party's flashing home the grey. Right to party over the top. Louses them all. Right to party has won from Prince Zero, Fleetwood and Walenda in a photo for four with Apparatus followed then by British Angel, Bossy Nick, Lynx, Ferrari in the ruck and Paradise City last as they finish in a bunch. That was a ripping win there by Right to Party. She's a listed winner in her own right over in South Australia. Uh, last uh, two preparations ago, I think, and uh, she's just, I love the way she stretches. She puts her head out, she gets going late. She looked beautiful in the yard, as you said, Lizzie, and she wins at a nice price for Anthony and Look Sam Freeman. the trouble she was in, in every the top bit of, of the trouble. straight. You could see uh, Ferrari wasn't working into the race quite like Jai McNeil thought nor was bossy nick so he had to just do a right hand go around horses he went around the heels of fleetwood oh, my oh i need to push out Wallenda, and that's exactly what she was able to do not many mares or fillies i should say do that they they don't like to do that so for her to be able to push out and be strong in the concluding stages of that race it just shows how well she's going and that